Hey everybody, welcome to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today we are going to be looking at a new type of trap made possible by one of the recent Minecraft updates. So today we are looking at a new firework trap. Long story short, in one of the recent Minecraft updates, they made it where fireworks made with a firework star, now when exploding, deal damage to the player. So with this damage, we can kill people, creating a trap. So today I'm going to be showing you one of my designs, but as always, be creative with it. You can make your own design. My design is a little bit limited, so be creative. So first of all, let's see how to create one of these fireworks. So if we go over here, we have the crafting recipe. We need a piece of paper, a piece of gunpowder, and a firework star. Now to make a firework star, all you need is a gunpowder and any type of color. So meaning lapis works or any types of dyes. So this makes a firework. Now the only thing is a singular firework does not do enough damage to actually kill the player. You're going to need multiple of these, so get ready to be crafting a lot. And once again, this is all made possible because now, when fireworks made with a firework star, because you can make these without the star, now they do damage upon exploding. So very quickly, let's take a look at my design. So how I built it is a trap inside of a house. Now, this is the best way and possibly one of the only ways because of course you need the firework to explode near you and fireworks shoot up therefore you need something stopping it so a house is the best setting for this also like i said earlier one firework doesn't kill you you need multiple multiple so you're gonna need to find a place to put dispensers to shoot the fireworks and somehow make them shoot over and over again so my design pushes a piston up near the door for no escape it rapidly shoots fireworks over and over and over and over and over and it's very simple to reset so it doesn't automatically reset you just need to change one or two blocks around so very quickly I'm going to show you it in action and then we'll explain it and kind of go through on how to build it so yeah all we need to do is let's just pretend we're a player not knowing what we're doing finding a random house so this is a house so of course we open the door and walk in now this block closes upon you and fireworks start killing you. So yeah, that is the basis of it. Pop box up, blocking your entrance, fireworks start coming. Uh, the firework sh shoots off like colors and stuff, so you're disoriented, you don't know how to get out, and you end up dying. Now, to reset the design, all you need to do is break the block, blocking the door, take another block, put the block back over here, place another door, and... The design is reset, but you need to do one more thing. We'll take a look at the redstone in a minute, but just for resetting purposes, you're going to need to go down here because this is going to continue on and on, this little circuit. So you're going to need to do is break one of the redstone, let, let it stop, which should take about one to two seconds, and place another one, and it is reset. So if we go inside once again, it's very simple. In the Inside, it's just a bunch of dispensers and a plate. The plate is how the trap gets activated. Now this design does depend on a player kind of walking in blindly very quickly, because if they notice, they'll just stop here. But this trap is kind of hard to make in general. So let's take a look at the redstone. Now this is going to be the more complicated part, and this is where I tell you that this design is kind of very big and bulky, because it's hard to get every part of the design, and I wanted for it to be unescapable and shoot a lot, so it's very weird to build. If you go in your own soul world and try it out, you'll find out that it's harder to build than it actually seems. So let's take a look at what I built and how the design works. So now for a new player that doesn't really work with redstone, you're just going to have to kind of try your best to keep up. The main thing that you really need to remember from up here is just remember this pressure plate right here. So this is the redstone underneath. So it does use the observer block, which is a new block recently also introduced. So let's take a look kind of from beginning to end how the circuit runs. So right above this block is a piston, and right above this block is the pressure plate itself. So what happens, you guys know when a pressure plate gets stepped on, it releases a red silk signal above it and to the side. So what it's going to do is this pressure plate up here is going to send a signal to the piston, moving this block down, and also when that happens, it activates this redstone and moves this piston up. So what that does is this piston has a block above it, so this shoots up, breaks the door, and places a block on your exit. And what it does over here is it brings this block down. This is an observer block. What it does is this side of it, the face, if it notices a block change, it shoots a redstone signal on the other side. So when you step on the pressure plate, this piston is going to shoot this block down one. It's going to activate this just for a millisecond while this is down because it's going to go back up and it releases a redstone signal. 
One quick thing though, this piston right here has to be a non-sticky because it has to leave the block. And this piston over here has to be a sticky because it, want, it needs the block to bring back up with it. So once the redstone signal gets shot out here, it's only for an instant that the redstone signal is live. So what it's going to do, this is a very, very, very simple redstone repeating circuit. So what happens is it brings in the redstone over here, shoots it up, and it goes on and on and on and on. You just got to make sure these two uh, repeaters are on different edges. To quickly demonstrate this, we'll just bring it right over here and we will take redstone torch so for those of you that already know how this works uh you don't have to watch this part you could probably skip it but real quickly just as a demonstration so of course you got to place two repeaters like that redstone on each end and if you quickly put a redstone input into there you can see that it shoots over and over and over and over and over so that's a quick explanation of what's going on there because that's how the fireworks shoot over and over and over so what you want to do is you want to set both of these to the maximum ticks possible so three ticks because it does need a little bit of time for this power to go on and off so both of these set to three ticks so what that does is now that brings a signal over here to these dispensers so of course these are on by default but once this gets turned on this gets turned on and off and on and off and on and off so this torch activates these three that torch those two this torch these three and this one those two so that's a very simple explanation this part of the circuit over here just brings a block up to block the door and this observer block and this repeating redstone signal activates the dispensers over and over and over again. So I'm not going to rebuild it because like I said it's kind of a lengthy build but to get all the components you want in the build it does take a little bit of wiring. Now I'm not the best redstone builder in the world and there can be very different designs so this is just mine. If you're a better wrestling builder than me, you can go ahead and try to compact this and I'd be glad to see it. And I know it can be compacted very easily. Things like this, you could kind of round the edges off and make this very much simpler, but this is just my design. So yeah, I'll kind of fly around one more time for you guys to see it if you're kind of just pausing the video. So it is kind of complicated for a new player. For an older player, this shouldn't be that complicated. But yeah, this is my personal design and how I would do it. Now, again, you might say, oh, well, it's not very discreet. Well, again, that's where I challenge you. Try to make it a little bit more discreet. Try to do it in a different way or have it a way to kill the player quickly. But this is just how I found out. So, guys, hopefully you found my kind of walkthrough and tutorial a little bit helpful. I know it's not the perfect design, but this is more of a video to kind of give you the general explanation of how it works. But, yeah, have fun trapping people, killing some people, trolling some people. It's always a lot of fun. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a sportsman channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.